What's up guys? It's me, Akshant, and for this video, I wanted to do something different that will surprise you. So in this video, I'm going to be making a simple DIY photo frame. So what you're going to need is some glue and some random decorations. I'm choosing shells, stones, and popsicle sticks. You need a scissors, just a random photo in your house. Like me, I chose my 10th Manchester City birthday. And you're going to need some paints, paintbrushes, and you're going to need something to make your photo frame out of. Now let's get started. So step one, all you're going to do is find a random photo in your house, uh, any printed photo, and then I'm going to glue this. I just cut it off a cereal box, and this one's the back of an art block. So you're, you're going to have to glue this together. So let's use a little bit of glue. Glue them together. All right, we're all nice and glued, and now it's time to stick this right on top. Okay, just leave it set for a sec. Next step, we are going to outline the photo, so just use it like a stencil, outline it, a pencil, or just anything that you use to write with. So when you want to decorate, you always need to draw what you want first. So this part here is going to be water, so I'm going to paint it a mix of dark blue and light blue. So the top will be dark and the bottom will be light. This will be the sand, so I'm using brownish, yellowish, goldish. And here's the sunset. I'm going to make it an orangish, purplish, bluish sky. And yeah, we're going to stick the photo frame and decorate it a little bit. So let's get started. So the paint that I'm using first will be to paint the sand. So you get yourself a paintbrush, I'm using a big one so you can paint it faster. Here we go. Paint's hard to open. Ah, got a lot left. So we can just take some of that. I'm surprised that it can go all the way. I didn't know I dipped it in that much. Okay, so I got it like that. Perfect. Now we're going to be painting the water. So the water is going to need a smaller brush since it's a smaller section. Okay, let's paint the water. So let's use light blue and dark blue. Paint it. Ooh, dark blue first. Oh, we are running out of dark blue. Big time. Paint a little bit of dark blue at the top. Then the rest of our picture below the dark blue is going to be a nice light blue. Oops. gonna paint it some light blue. So we'll just leave that open. Get some light blue. Just gonna paint it. Try to blend it in together with the dark blue. So it's like a little mix of light blue and dark blue. So you know it looks kind of nicer, look more sea-ish. going to be painting this guy. So this guy's going to be like an orange-ish, purple-ish 
Well, not really purple, but like orangish bluish, kind of like that. Like a nice sunset. So let's paint the sun with a really small brush. Oh, look at the brush, it's so cute. Wow, the sun is like striking orange. Okay, then we'll paint the rays. It's like to put dots. It has like gives it more effect. There. Now we are going to be painting the sky. So wait, I'm gonna need orange again. So orange is gonna be the lower part of it. And the blue is gonna be the higher part of it. I think I'll use light blue instead of dark. So that it like stands out really, not like so dull. I pre-dipped the brush, so let's start painting the blue up here. Yeah, I should have picked a smaller brush so, so that I can paint the insides of the like sun rays between the sun rays. Between oh, it's mixing, but never mind. It's more like a sunset, isn't it? the truck sound is just a recycling truck coming to pick up recycled stuff. So to make it look more like a, uh, like a uh, dark sky, I'm just uh, mixing a little bit of dark blue. So you take like, like a touch of dark blue, and then you touch it a bit in water, and then you just paint it all over it to make it have like a grayish appearance. Looks really nice. It's like a bluish grayish, kind of like a Yorkshire Terrier's coat. Just keep painting it. And just note that you don't fully cover it with the light blue, with the dark blue, sorry. Just like, just like touch it a little. Oh, it's okay, your paintbrush fell. Okay, it's a bit darker. It's okay. Keep going. Sorry if you hear lots of bird calls. The bird nest up in the tree, just outside our gate. blended. Next, we're just going to take some glue and glue on a little bit of decoration. So, like, give it a little shell-ish, you know, kind of, kind of appearance. So, we got some glue. And take, oh, look at this shell. Looks so nice. So, we'll take the shell. Put some glue on it. There. Is it going to stick? I don't know. Is it going to stick? I don't know. Um, these are just rocks, so I'll just stick this one. Oh, it looks so nice. Glue, stick the rock on there. Oh no, it's stuck to my hand. Leave it there. We got any little little shells. Oh, look at this one. I don't know what that is. Looks like poop, but whatever. Just glue the outer part of this huge, beautiful shell. Maybe, maybe like it's gonna be like a clam. Maybe like a like a clam. It doesn't go into the photo frame. Oh, thank God, it won't. Just leave it there, sticking down here. I'm gonna add a few more bunch of stuff, so. There. Oh, look at this. It looks like quartz. Maybe it is quartz that I found on the beach. These rocks and shells are really old. I visited the beach like like, like three years ago, or like two years ago. Really long. Oh, the shell, this, this looks really interesting. But I'm gonna need a little bit smaller one, so. This one. Yes, this is looking great. This one, it's really starting to look like, it's really starting to make sense, like it's a beach with shells. Look at this black rock, for a change of scenery, I'm gonna put in a black rock, instead of white ones. And let's put in this, oh, this tiny orange-ish one. And let's add in one more. Okay. Oh, whoops. Oh, it's gonna be on that shell. Ta-da! There we have it. But it's not finished yet. We're still gonna need a few more things. So let's like, uh, let me set for a sec. 
Then after that, we're gonna make the stand for it, and yeah. So let's wait. Waiting, waiting. All right. So uh, next, we are going to make the stand. So I've already drew it on with the ruler. So just draw straight, straight, then down, down, kind of like a bow tie. Uh, sorry, necktie. How do I look? So let's just cut it out. Uh, I don't know if this will stand, but hopefully it will, because it's it's kind of flimsy. So let's just keep cutting it. Well, we're gonna decorate it, obviously. I I know it's gonna be on the back, but it's okay. We'll just decorate. It. Yeah, I don't know. So grab your scissors and just start cutting. Okay, now we're going to bend the back, gonna bend the back, okay, just like that. Oh shoot, it's raining! Okay, we better do this quickly, so like, uh, okay, so just we'll put some, quite a bit of glue, alright? Then we're gonna press it up, and stay like that. Oh, please, hope, please, hopefully it stands. Oh, shoot, the shells are coming off. Okay, so, it's raining, it's pouring. The old man is crying. Alright, so uh, we're going to leave it here to set for a sec. So we're just going to go head on inside. Well, we don't need to, we're in the shade. Alright, bye. Well, not exactly bye, but... Just we're gonna wait until the rain stops and then we're gonna showcase this for a few, okay? Alright, so change of plan. Uh, we're gonna go inside because it's heavily raining outside. So our next step is that we're going to go ahead and take your blue. You can just put it just at the around the white part. So this is go like this. corners because the corner is the main part that you want your uh, photo to stick. Just glue it. What I like to do, I like to add a little pattern in the middle. So like I just had like a, it's not really a pattern, it's just more like a, a big fat dot, kind of like that. Okay, so now we're just going to carefully, and I mean really carefully, go ahead, stick your photo. Wow. I did not know that it would come on this well. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just leave it there. We're going to start outlining with this marker, which I used for the uh, how to draw a cartoon ketchup bottle. So let's start. Uh, so let's start outlining. we're done so just stop the video for a sec and showcase it thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you follow this tutorial on how to make a DIY photo frame. It's looking pretty great actually. It's great. It's looking really great. So remember to hit the like button, smash the subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Next video will be usual on Fridays, uh, sorry, on Mondays, and I'll see you then. Take care and goodbye.